Hello everybody, welcome back to another manga unboxing. Today I've got a super surprising haul from you. This first one's from eBay. Um, I got it from some, I think it's like Gold Star Comics or something like that, their shop on eBay. You'll notice I switched to using a permanent marker to, to do my address now. Yeah, that's right. Uh, pens apparently don't work as good as I thought, or at least according to you guys. But permanent marker, I definitely can't see anything. I even zoomed in, I enhanced the video, and then I dehanced the video just to make sure. Uh, so yeah, let's get into this weird box. This, um, this box is from Diamond, which is kind of cool if you guys know anything about comics. Um, this is what comic book stores use to, um, you know, distribute comics, or rather publishers use to distribute comics to comic book sellers at your local comic book shop. So that's kind of neat. The packing probably isn't the same though. Um, so, okay, this is pretty cool. We've got a, two priority mail envelopes in here. That's weird. Anyways, this is going to be um, a very unusual haul for me. See, you'll see that I've got this thing called eyes. It's spelled eyes and then the double apostrophe. I don't know what that's called anymore. I'm old. You know, back in my day, we didn't call it anything. Um, the spine super faded, which I guess I did take a picture of, but I didn't really notice it was that faded. You'll see one coming up later that I'm like freaking crazy over. But what is this show? What is this manga even about? Well, to be honest with you, I'm not even sure. Oh, here you go. See, Gold Star Anime and Games. Might be an interesting place to go to. Um,. But I would definitely be hesitant to buy anything else on here, or from them, after seeing the quality of these books. Uh, but it's mostly just the spines, so it's not the worst quality, but it's definitely not the best. So, it follows Ichitaka Seto. Um, so you can see number one's a little faded. It's not as bad, though. Um, Ichiwara Seto, uh, a high school student who is in love with his classmate, Iori Yoshisuki. But she, but he's too shy to tell her. Oh, don't you hate it? Yeah, this manga is a little edgy, by the way. <laughs> um, again and again, he plans to tell her his true feelings, but each time something usually misunderstanding of some kind gets in the way. Don't you boys just hate it when that happens? Things become even more complicated when Itsuki Akiba returns to Japan. She's a girl Ichakata was friends with in her childhood before they moved to the States. Oh. And... She had a huge crush on him. You guys can see the love triangle happening. So apparently a lot of what this manga is, um, is like a very true saying of the male psyche of the high school relationship. At least that's what Doofy has said. I haven't read it yet, so I don't really know. Um, but I'm very interested to read it. The main reason I did pick this up, look at eight. Okay, look at eight. Tell me that's not ridiculous. What the heck is that about? What? How? How does that even happen? How do you get, like, so sun damaged and bleached that that happens? Um, but anyways, the main reason I picked up the set is because uh, 15 is supposed to be pretty hard to find, volume 15. But I was actually able to score the whole set with this buy. So I did. I can't tell, is that, I don't think that's bleached. I think it just is. But you can see sometimes the bleaching of the spine goes over to the front cover, see how it's kind of purpley. <laughs> on these sides here. Uh, the front covers are crazy good looking. I don't understand um, what they did, but they look pretty cool, uh, I gotta say. But they also are really kind of put offish because, like, I didn't ever want to pick up this manga when I was younger because I thought it was just, like, a girl manga because all it is is just, like, super realistic pictures of girls. They weren't, like, characterized or, like, boobicized or anything like that. It didn't look funny. It looked very serious. So I was like, eh, I don't know if this is for me. But here you can see volume 15. This one's apparently a little harder to find than the others. It's a bit faded um, as well. But you can't win them all, obviously. So that's okay. I'll probably try to slowly replace the um, faded series, but, uh, you know, with the faded spines. That, that'd be like 1 through 3, 8, 9, and 15's not that bad, but 
Yeah, those are probably the worst defenders, I'd say. 13 C looks pretty good. But yeah, most of them came out pretty good, but I can't believe I missed 8. Like, 8 is bad. Like, bad. <laughs> okay? I, I really should have picked up on that 8 and been like, eh, do I really want to buy it? <laughs> I don't, I'm just, I can't believe I didn't see that in the listing. I'm sure they put it there, and like, they were just all lined up, and I just was like, yeah, those look fine. And I only looked at like a few of them. I messed up. Big time mess up. Okay, next we have another package. I think this one's from eBay as well. I actually don't think I have any right stuff packages in this haul, guys. What? Yep, I know. I know. It's rarity. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. Right Stuff has had a weird aversion to me lately. So we've got some nice plastic bags. Very nice. This is like actually really good, really good packaging. I'm not being sarcastic. I usually, I usually am very sarcastic. This is for real. Uh, this is strawberry 100%, or as it was known in my time, Ichigo 100%. Uh, the story chronicles the school years of Junpei Manaka, a student aspiring to be a movie director, and his relationship with girls that enter his life. In the beginning, he encounters a mysterious girl on the roof of the middle school, but he only remembers that she had strawberry patterned panties. She then leaves before he can talk to her, but he finds a notebook belonging to Aya Tojo, an ordinary looking girl who wears glasses and is a gifted writer. The two become friends and are com with a common ambition to create stunning stories into movies. Thinking that Tsukasa Nishino, the most popular girl at school, school, might be the mystery girl, he asked her out while doing a pull-up at the chin bar. Wow, strong guy. <laughs> he was surprised that she actually accepted it. <laughs> there you guys go, see? Be my girlfriend. Um, he later realized Tsukasa is not the mystery girl, but continues to date her anyways. He places into Izuka High, um, but learns that he has given up on an offer to the prestigious Oyumi Academy to attend Izu Izumi Zaka with him, and that ch What? Yeah, I didn't actually know that last part. I was just reading Wikipedia. I don't know if that's spoilers or not. Hmm, I might have to cut that out. <laughs> uh, this is real number two. Um, so reel number two is actually a little harder to find, um, but I was actually able to find this one for a fairly cheap price. I think this was like 20 so what's that? $8 of a retail? Not so bad. Uh, that was with free shipping, so can't complain there. Um, I do have a second edition of reel number two, which I have to show you guys in a later, later haul. It's really cool. I can't wait to show you guys that one. That It's a really cool collector's item. I think it'll be next haul. But it might be the next next haul. We'll see. Um, this one's from In Stock Trades. As anybody knows who orders from In Stock Trades, they actually have the best packaging in the biz. Um, but In Stock Trades takes months to get in. Okay, your order does not ship a couple weeks after. No, it ships like two to three months after you place it. Just so you're aware. Oh my God! How did it get so blurry? What's happening? Oh, it's because they put my address inside of the plastic bag. Of this manga so give me a second here to clean off my lens um, you know it steamed it right up all right so let's see how they have these um, weird styrofoam plastic bag things they shape them directly to the books it's really cool so we have two Helsing deluxe editions this is Helsing number one and two there you go there's only three of these um, and I have all of Helsing I really like Helsing. I won't be taking these out of the bags to show them off. I probably should, but I won't. Uh, these are high quality. You'll just have to take my word for it. Um, but yeah, Helsing's a great story with an overpowered character. If you don't like overpowered characters where things are really easy, gruesome, and just crazy, don't read it. But if you like those things, definitely read it. 100% one of the craziest mangas I've ever read. It's just so freaking nuts. Anyways, that's it for today. Hope everyone enjoyed today's video. Has a nice day. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe if you liked the video. Bye.